Uh, it's me, Davai, and uh, I greet you at the Gunview territory. So it's the space where there's room for everyone. And uh, you have uh, you can have your own rooms here uh, at the gunview.js.org. And we're talking about the code that uh, makes all these um, features run uh, while being decentralized, peer-to-peer, -peer, and cryptographically verified, verifiable, and uh, quite resilient. And now it's loading uh, this data from peers, and it slowly <laughs> appears here. And then it will be in the st storage of this uh, of this uh, tab. And when I refresh it, I will have all the data there uh, instantly. And then it will be shared with others. And this information will propagate. And we already, of course, can go into other rooms deeper and have uh, different information here and different chats and all everything uh, like fresh start for all your projects about your projects and uh, you can have rooms and rooms and these are interconnected kind of routes kind of apps sub apps some of them are broken kind of and i will need to debug this but yeah uh, this is the idea and Today I want to show you uh, how we can just expand all that, grow uh, and uh, implement more and more ideas to this list of features and opportunities. And yeah, we, it's already <laughs> scrollable, so we can have uh, whatever number of them that we want. And we already have some uh, ready up um folders so let's uh again see the structure so we have the composables the lowest um layer that uh uses the uh, here that uses gun and some low level things and then we and all the logic basically of our components this next second layer and these components uh that are just more visual and ui oriented uh, they are imported into the app and the app is the demo app how you could build your own and it's fully open source so you can just fork the repository build your own app with your apps inside and make it even a desktop app and all that and yeah the routes are in the app so this is just kits just toolboxes but the app structures this but the code is in one place in the source folder and yeah the routes are coming from this so we collect all the routes uh, files from this source folder and then we just uh, just export them and then they are used in the app um, main ts and yeah these are routes that are just fed into the router view router yeah so um today i want to try to expand on this folder so each folder here is a vertical slice of code so if we for example take the gun uh folder we will have components and composables here and also routes yeah and the, there is one one route so it is not uh public here but i believe if we go to gun graph we will uh we should be ah just gun just gun like this so we, we should be able to see Ah, okay, 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 like this. Yes, we can see uh, the graph uh, component that is here. So yeah, uh, we already have um, this. Uh, so you can see that we can just we can just import 
use a as a route just the component the gun graph and there, there is no difference so gun graph graph uh, yeah and we can get rid of this uh, this component completely and this it will work and we can check this by running the npm run dev command and having this uh, development um, server running and yeah it couldn't in gun uh, routes yeah in gun routes we should save it yeah so now we have the same should have the same functionality uh, or no um, it should be okay it should be working okay because yeah i think that now the database is broken mm, yes there is uh, some ah but what's the error defined property bg uh, okay let's run the development server again yeah it works fine so if we go to gun we will see yeah the same thing with all our data uh, in the database that is now shared between peers and this relay okay uh, but this is just bare bones and yeah we can see that these are composables that are imported and exported through these Composables TS and these are components that are exported by this and the routes just build on that and I want to build something like that here so we will have our QR uh, kind of app there so we will create a routes.ts here and let's just copy this and start with uh, this so we will have like QR name will be qr and this will be like uh, let's say index index.view and we will create that index.view just right now index.view uh yeah and it was it, it's just uh, that that simple so we will have uh, we'll just import uh import qr load from this qr load uh, component and uh, we will just let's say have a e4 just to have it being displayed more neatly and uh, we will say qr load right here so uh, now we have this index that you that is indexed here and as it, it is this uh, routes ts we already should be able to go to our qr route not found but if we restart yeah because maybe this is parsing this only once yeah so this is our component to parse QR code so yeah we have the link yes we have the encrypted key uh, uh, successfully parsed so we can uh, build on that uh, and just uh, have this so we can say that we can have like mm, okay we will want to display the data that was uh, loaded so let's say we will need the data as a ref and okay let's please auto import it okay no please let's auto import it yes so of it's just empty empty now and that we will say that at loaded yeah we have the autocomplete thank you we can say that data 
is uh, the equals the event so we will just update it and we will have this pre with the date okay so now we will have boom we have the link uh, just right there so let it be uh, code and um, before like this so um, yeah uh, any any information can be uh, stored there okay but we don't know how to come to this page and let me guide you so our first route is there so let's okay let's say that text uh, Excel so this will be like h2 and this will say this will say QR code lab like this and um, this will be flex call and also gap to gap four so okay now we have more or less page and uh, we can have um, we can have uh, this uh, like text lg data and uh, maybe like this so and this can be mono a uh, font mono mono and uh, text sm and uh, dg light 100 uh, light uh, 300 and dg of fat op opacity 30 20 okay so this means that we will have it yeah and kind of shown in different ways so now this is one thing and the other thing that we want to show here is uh, yeah let's let's do first ah yeah so let's imagine that i'm working on this component so i already can test it so i already know where to to get it and i think this is the way that you can work on your uh side on your slice and then when you're ready you will publish it so let's publish it when we are ready but we're not there yet because for the lab we need not to only qr load but also qr show ah qr show maybe it can auto import come on okay. yes yes it works uh, magical okay qr show and uh, qr show will have the data the size and the margin and, and if there's no data it doesn't show anything so uh, we will need to say the data is is input let's say like this so data is oh data will be input and let's say this will be Ah, and we can rename symbol data will be output come on yes so output and let's say we will have our input this is kind of the basic infrastructure in code like this so let's try to ah and the input will be type ah, enter your text like this and now we should be able to see uh, uh, to see the qr show because yes now we have the data so 
so show us show us the QR code maybe yeah maybe with yes it's just it's just too 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 small for us so with 50 no with uh, full yes this should work yes now we have the full and of course we will have to have an input we'll type text with the v model uh, input hey what a nice way to share some strings of data we can use it to share links passwords and even more totally decentralized and immediate so if you had ever any experience with online QR code generators they are very, working very very slow but with this uh, you know you can just immediately have the QR code and this can be even a stream of data if you want to sync all these packets and you can do that so yeah it will grow and you can see how the patterns are evolving and we are growing we're growing with the data set and yeah it's quite nice and then we can just have this uh, tool uh, make a screenshot should be easy to do uh, okay so capture this and then uh, I can just drop it. I believe it should be. I uh, know it doesn't work like this. But if I go to the desktop, to this, upload. Yeah, this is my text <laughs> with all the crap inside. So uh, I think it's nice. Uh, it's nice decentralization tool. But yeah, the the content uh, drifts away. I don't know the width should be max width. Mm, should be limited of course but uh, and uh, it should be space break I believe uh, no uh, just let's make it even even more narrow in this and overflow hidden overflow hidden yes like this so sorry if you have too long lines uh, but overflow x hidden okay yeah so this is the way so now we have our um, our qr code lab so we can export yeah uh, we can add a, a download button we can uh, improve all that so uh, there is so much so big room for improvement and today I can just show a couple of them and now we can uh, just start uh, just just add this app to our uh, system to the gun view so uh, we already have the route so the only thing we need is to go to the app I believe here and we can we can uh, find how we ah yes we yes I know we we have the source app folder and here is the sidebar that just shows these icons and this is not very you know elegant maybe this should this can be more elegant and we can store the icons elsewhere and I believe that uh, with Uno CSS it's much more simple and this adapter was developed with Windy CSS that has just stopped working as I 
learn that they they are this the library library is still working but they don't actively develop it because we are using we're, we will all transition to you know css and we're happy about that happy okay so what is this these are the you know css icons and um, for uh, them we can just go to icons.js.org and search for qr um, word and just use any any icon that we like and just change this to a hyphen okay and we will say that v if okay, this is qr uh, and qr code code qr lab qr lab with a capital L. qr lab okay and uh, this comes from the gun config json okay yes this is the way i've made it maybe this can be better but i think this is the main config file for all the app and you can remove <laughs> the things that you don't need and they won't display and this is the one place and this is the place where you put the root room uh, credentials you know the public key the uh, all the certificates for writing into it and uh, you know the uh, encrypted uh, host uh, key uh, and yeah the features of the room so this is the center and maybe more configuration will come into this file uh, okay so what we need to do here is pretty obvious so we have this qr and say that this will be qr lab boom so we go back to the app and we already have it there it's there so yeah we can just casually browse our app and if you want to share any text we can just drop it here and um, let's do this so we can drop it pretty big chunk of text uh, maybe this is too big okay let's say only this routes object yeah so this routes object is like this oh and yeah yeah and now i can just use my camera on my phone and yes i can just read this data and this can be any message and this is uh like the first uh, just the beginning because uh, we can uh, <clears throat> implement uh, this lab for uh, you know sharing uh, data that will be that can be verified once it's open so it can be a link in your um, in your user uh, land and uh, that will be uh, showed as a QR code but this will contain a link that will need you, you will need to, to in, uh, either there will be the password embedded of some kind or you will have to put it there uh, and share it separately and then when the person will visit that page this will update the status of your shared information so you will see that this is uh, already viewed by someone like in your uh, in your user uh, section yeah and uh, this is kind of going you know to the up upwards from the components to the app uh, and the one thing I want to show you is how to go downwards too because we don't want to have all this logic in the components so this is too much for a component this should be like having the input and importing the use uh, function that will do the job and the component just needs to work with emits and all that uh, and uh, so let's uh, do uh, the uh, 
second part. Let's make a composable out of that. So we will have to use other uh, uh, slices, <laughs> vertical slices, to uh, get the idea that we have the composables. So let's create the composables. New file, composables dot ts and uh, we just uh, will export our use qr function that will be uh, use qr module uh, and this will be placed here so use qr and we'll say export everything from use qr yeah so and this is the composables. This is now, ah, no, sorry. This uh, goes here into these composables. Uh, the TS will think about it. Yeah, it's not a module yet, but we will um, just go and look at any other uh, component, uh, any other uh, composable, and let's have it here. So. This is like we will we can use markdown so QR laboratory. Uh, the module is QR and the group is I think UI, but maybe let's think about it together. So um, now when we have um, modules qr uh -huh. no this should be okay when we run it again yes yes it's clean so uh, the docs should be loading yes and we can have qr here or it can be yes i think now it can be in ui but I will think about what where to place it now. Okay, QR laboratory with nothing in, in it. Okay, because we have nothing in it yet. Yeah, so we have uh, these components that have some code in them, and we can just oh UI layer QR show so that are importing some uh, UI some uh, some APIs from you use that is very 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 powerful thing and we use clipboard use share everything in just in place and this is very nice and here we have ah in qr show this is just these lines of code so it is that simple so maybe we won't uh, extract it because it's very readable but qr load is kind of big and clunky so we can just uh have this ah so emit is a thing that should stay in script setup and this means that this process file should be um ah this process file can have um the second parameter so yeah so it has the files and it can have the function that will work with it and this will be just this ah not not, not this but um, so this will be the function ah yeah but how it should be file ah this uh, this is just a callback callback and we will say that we will run a callback with the result data and uh, Ah, let's see okay and uh, now we can say that the second function will be 
emit. Ah, no, not emit. The second function. Ah, yes, yes, will be, uh, will be a function. Which will emit uh, loaded with uh, with the data data here. So this means that we don't have this emit here, and I believe it's the only places yes where we use it so now we have the oh cd cb okay cb callback oh let's say f as a full so call back uh and this will be called back uh like this so now when we when we are here this should work fi uh, just fine. So process file. Let's process this file. Yes, it works fine. So the callback is uh, working, and we have everything that we need. And now we uh, can just extract all this, all this code into the use QR. like this and uh, maybe even more ah no it's async the listen listen event um okay yeah this is ts so now uh an argument for error event okay i don't know if everything is uh, correct well, and in TypeScript an argument okay use QR async yeah error event ah, error event and the thing is not provided so we can have this async and error event um, Uh, like this, it's no. Yeah, and the only thing is target, so does not exist on type unknown and result unknown. Yes, we don't know the result of uh, this, but this can be thought as a string. So, but for now, I just expect the error and we are fine with that so okay found one errors file is not a module okay uh, this is not a serious error for us we run the okay use qr mm, of course of course there is no use qr uh, there is no export here and we can say that we can export our use qr uh, uh, export a function. Function is called use qr, and uh, which returns returns an uh, object with a process file uh, that returns our process file function. So this is the only thing that we really need now. So these are just internal uh, functions. Okay, so uh, now we don't have any errors. QR load can just do this, so we can import uh, import uh, use QR and uh, say constant um, process file is get we get it from this using this function and yes it just 
works. We don't have any errors. Okay, let's try. Yes, yes, it still works. So we've successfully exposed this uh, new, uh, we have this new module uh, exported from our gun view composables. And uh, the only thing that isn't done is this. So yeah, we have to manually uh, add, uh, add it here for it to be a part of our package and be exported to others. So we can have QR composables. Yes, and TypeScript is okay with that. So uh, we've changed some files. Uh, we've um, created uh, the QR um, routes. We created the QR um, composable. Uh, everything looks nice, short, and uh, specific and uh, quite readable. And I hope uh, now you understand the structure of the app more and maybe can uh, contribute to uh, the app, of, to the gun view, because now we have this magical feature as we can just have this uh, new feature. So QR uh, route and uh, composable uh, committed to master. This is fine and let's check the build and it shouldn't be too long it, it will be just uh, less than one minute uh, and we have all the packages uh, built so we have the lib uh, the components then ah, the lib the docs ah the composables the docs then components here here uh, are built not very significant package size and then the app itself is built. And this is very fast and uh, it's very, very light in size because this is just one and a half megabyte less than and it's unpacked. And if it's gzipped, it's just half a meg. So it's very lightweight and so many things to, you know, find bugs in. Uh, okay, and one thing to show is that if I go to release, branch and then uh, run a git uh, merge master we will have uh, these changes in this um, branch and now I sync the changes with the release um, branch and if we go to the github we will see that we have a release action running that is running just right now and I don't know why it's running two instances of it let's cancel one run uh, but yeah it will build uh, the ah yes I know because these are different different runs uh, no release but also deploy will be ran so what I mean that we we will have our app um, deployed uh, and built with uh, a Tauri and uh, put into the recent uh, build, so these can be refreshed after the release is out. So the code in the app will be permanently fresh. So. I'm working on making this more automatic, the builds and all this uh, system, but uh, yeah, this is quite labor intensive though. So I expect if you're into Vue and want to check this decentralized gun database and want to play with it, uh, I built quite a fun playground and uh, yeah, you can start like uh, exploring it and adding everything yeah ah, i'm sorry i'm not mm, here ah, and one one last thing one last thing is that we now have the docs and we will explore it more in the next videos but i'm happy to have this trick working so just with this line we can have all the gun view components 
in a WordPress project completely, uh, you know, compatible with server-side rendering. They are just uh, bare um, tags uh, in uh, SSR rendering, but then this is just that magical uh, uh, this is just that um, bit press magic that I uh, I love really. So we can ah like this. We can go to user and we have we can have this user icon here working pretty much okay. Uh, yeah, so this works. And also we can have uh, like QR. Oh, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's go to QR. And I want to sh show you how it, this works. So we can go here and we can create a readme file. A readme file. Have uh, some data here, QR laboratory this is uh, great because this will be displayed uh, on and on uh, github when you browse to this folder and then we can do like this so we can go and look at this so we can include this readme just in the module itself so use qr qr laboratory okay include uh, and we will say QR readme. Okay. So now we update and we go to QR uh, to UI uh, QR here, and this is our yeah. So we can remove this line. Yes, and QR laboratory is coming from here. So uh, this with this we lose uh, the hot module replacement now because these are uh, included by type doc and this doesn't react to the changes in markdown but we can re, uh, you know even develop right here so we can have like you are show here and can say that data is um, hello world and uh, Oh, of course, of course, we can have this string here, and this should be, yeah, so our QR laboratory shows us a QR code of hello world, and just from the type doc, uh, this is, I believe it's kind of, kind of magical, and yeah, we can build and it will be safe, so it won't matter that we use all the browser apis it won't start it won't launch uh on the ssr build for me it's like yes uh we got that uh so we can use all that to create any kind of um interactive uh documentation uh and we can just uh, use these blocks we can use it here or use it here so here we can say qr load and this will just if we update um we will have to restart because we need to the type doc to kick in we can there are different ways to move that because yeah now we can boom we can have uh the data already in our console here but maybe we will display it somehow but this is like duplicating the app itself so uh this should display more details there will be more text and not many you know these uh components that are just hanging around but let's see how it goes because maybe the vitpress and gundu combination can be even more powerful with uh, server-side rendering and yeah maybe it can be very nice in future so let's see and yeah i can just uh, have this uh, readme uh, so this is a feature readme info info about qr web yeah uh, yeah, so 
I'm still posting everything to release. So I will go back to my master. Git merge, merge, release. And yes, we will have our uh, repository built. And the old way to do that was I build everything, then deploy to GitHub pages through uh, just my local machine. And let's do this now. And uh, while the app is building, I want to summarize that, yes, we have uh, this very flexible vertical thing to organize our code. We create, can create kind of isolated experience, but they can uh, interact with each other, easily importing uh, each other, and you can build on others' work. And uh, this is totally open source and forkable, but I want to try to make it as open as I could so it could grow in this repo, you know, gunview.js.org. Uh, and yeah, stay light, fast, and very interesting to play with. So I will run deploy. I will have my uh, generated HTML files already there. I put in some password and boom, it's uploaded and it will soon be published right there on gunview.js.org. Yes, there in a matter of minute. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you for being with me, for building this part, this uh, slice, this app, and let's do more together. Uh, see you next time. Bye.